Will Webflow replace front-end developers? Maybe. I don't. I really don't think so. But I can see it changing front-end developers' jobs. And in this video, I'll explain. Welcome to how to get a job in front-end development. My name is Richie, and I've been a developer for the past eight years, and I am starting this channel to help you get a job in front-end development. If I can help just one person get a job in front-end development this year, I will call this channel a success, and I will be very happy. And you'll be very happy, too, because you have a new shiny front-end developer job. So st uh, stay tuned. Also, just, just a short disclaimer. Um, <laughs> so this is my sixth YouTube video now, and I have about 11 subscribers. And thank you very much to everybody who is subscribing to me. I greatly appreciate it, and you make my day whenever I see those subscription numbers going up, and you, whenever I see your comments, whenever I see you guys liking the videos, it just makes me so happy, and uh, thank you, thank you so much, and you get to enjoy the ride and watch, uh, watch some video, just create a YouTube channel. Um, so yeah, my sixth video, and uh, here it goes. So back when I was learning front-end development... Uh, a hot new framework was coming out on the scene called WordPress. And a lot of people I was learning front-end development with were afraid that WordPress is actually going to replace all of our jobs and our jobs would be useless because people could just go out and buy these themes and have these nice looking websites and pretty much it's just all out of the box. They don't have to hire a developer to do anything. They just have this nice looking website, it's on WordPress, it's all hosted and all that sort of stuff. And uh, yeah, front-end developers are just useless. And uh, <laughs> well, that was eight years ago, right? And here we are today. Um, I still have front-end development work somehow, I don't know. Um, but my work did change. I, I, I have done a lot of WordPress work in the last eight years. And um, we're not creating websites from scratch anymore, really. We are pulling from these tools to sort of make the uh, make a website process easier. Um, but WordPress didn't replace us. It just sort of gave us a new tool in our tool belt. And then after WordPress came out, there was other um, other website builders, namely like Wix and Squarespace. Those came out, and once again, <laughs> we were all afraid we were going to lose our jobs to these things. Um, but that never happened. In fact, at some of the agencies that I worked at, we've had clients um, that hired us to create them a new website from scratch because the features on Wix or Squarespace didn't match what they needed. Um, and they don't have these, it's very hard to customize these Squarespace and Wix sites uh, to fit clients' needs. And you're sort of beholden to their system, right? Because you can't really make any changes to them um, on a substantial level because they're sort of out of the box and they, they have their own proprietary software, right? It would be kind of like going to McDonald's and ordering a burger and expecting something from like a really high-end restaurant, right? But no, you're always going to get that same burger from McDonald's and this is sort of the same thing with Squarespace and Wix. Um, so they have these out-of-the-box solutions for you, and if a client has a need and they can't have it on those websites, then those websites are kind of useless to them. And I sort of think it's the same same way with Webflow. Now, Web, Webflow is a great platform. I've seen some amazing sites come off of it. They have these really nice animations. They um, also, like, the, the code that comes out of it is also really really well written and I've heard that it doesn't take very long to create a web flow site but even with all of that I don't think it's going to replace front-end developers now my argument isn't a technical one but it's based on sound business practices in the book the millionaire fast lane by MJ DeMarco which is a book I highly recommend you read uh, he lays out his sense framework so sense stands for control, entry, need, time, and scale. And depending on Webflow would violate C and the sense framework, control. Now, <laughs> could you imagine if Facebook just threw out their whole website just to redo it in Webflow? Or if Google threw out their whole website just to redo it in Webflow? That, that'll never happen. These 
giant companies have these systems in place um, that are very specific and it would be very difficult to get Webflow into those systems. I mean, how many of you that are watching are, um, are front developers now and how, how much legacy code do you have to deal with every single day? Um, upgrading the, the code bases and all that to go to work with Webflow just really isn't worth it for these giant companies. It costs them millions of dollars just, to, just for them to rely on a third-party tool and that's just never going to happen. But where I can see it happening is in the design phase. So instead of, instead of a designer handing you a design in like Avocode or Zeppelin, I could see them handing you the raw HTML files that Webflow has exported. And with it, you'll get like the spacing and pretty much everything for that website. So you get the spacing, the fonts, the, the sizes, the, the colors, the animations, all that sort of stuff. And it would be the front end developer's job to integrate that into the system, um, the, well, the existing system. So I'm thinking of Webflow more as a design tool than I am a development tool. But could it replace front end developers in five to 10 years? I mean, maybe. Anything's possible within five to 10 years. I mean, look, <laughs> look at where uh, mobile phones have landed, right? Completely different. Um, but I don't know. We'll see. For right now, I'm thinking of Webflow as a design tool instead of a development tool, and it'd be pretty good to learn it at least, uh, just in case you know you do have to use it in the future. But um, as far as I I can see, I think it's only going to be a design tool for now and um, a development tool later, maybe because clients have specific needs. They need custom. Uh, they have they need custom features on their websites and you just, you just can't do that with Webflow, at least not right now. Um, I mean, maybe you can in the future, but as of right now, I don't think Webflow is going to replace front end developers. If you like this video and you want to work one on one with me to get a job in front end development, hit up the coaching application link in the description and fill that out and I will be in touch. And if you were, no matter where you're at in the journey, if you're just starting from zero, I can help you. If you just, if you just graduated college and you're looking for that first job, I can help you. Or if you're working in, in a front end development job right now and you want to upgrade your position and you know upgrade your salary, um, I can help you out with that too. So hit up that coaching application in the description, and I'd love to talk to you. And if you like this video, please share it with somebody that you know and or leave a comment. I respond to every single comment on here and I will read every single comment. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching and until next time.